Hello, pre-ballet friends. Good morning. I'm so excited to get to dance with you today, even from our own homes. So let's go ahead and get started with our mermaid warm-up. We've got to sit nice and tall on top of our mermaid tail. So we'll make our mermaid tails right out in front of us, just like this. Sit nice and tall with your hands on your hips. Spines so nice and long and straight. And we'll get ready to flex and point our mermaid fins, wiggle out those tails and give those tails a hug. After we uh, wiggle out our legs and warm up our legs in our mermaid tails, we're gonna lay on our tummies, go for our swim and stretch out our backs. Ready? Flex and point and flex and point and flex and point and flex and point and wiggle out those tails and we'll give those tails a hug and stretch them out in front again sit nice and tall we'll flex and point and flex and point and flex and point and flex and point and we'll give those tails a wiggle 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 and give those tails a hug. Good, this time we're taking our feet separate one at a time. Flex and flip, uh, switch, flex and switch. Good job. And we'll wiggle out our mermaid tails, give them a nice good wiggle. And give those tails a hug. And sit up nice and tall, this is our last time. Switch and switch and switch and switch all the way to that magic dance number and seven and eight and give those tails a wiggle and we'll give those tails a hug good job we are gonna lay on our tummies next lay on your tummy get ready to swim 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 with those arms and legs stretched out in back and front just like this and we'll swim, 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 swim. Kick fast, fast, fast. We'll push our hearts to the sky, just like Ariel. And let's reach back. Grab one mermaid fin, grab the other mermaid fin, and stretch up, up, up. And let's do it again. Ready? Stretch out back to front. And go for your swim, swim, swim. And let's push our heart to the sky. Give that back a good stretch. We'll reach back. Grab one mermaid fin, grab the other mermaid fin, and stretch up, up, up. And let's go for our swim one last time. Swim, swim, swim. Push that heart to the sky. And we'll reach back, grab those fins one last time. Give it a stretch up, up, up. Very good, my friends. Okay, we are going to go across the floor. All right, friends, we are gonna go across the floor. We are going to practice those chasses first. So I have my two hearts. And I'm gonna use these hearts to show me exactly how far across the floor I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put one right here and one right here. We're still practicing doing four chasses and our sways in our stars so that our stars can sway in the sky. So I'm gonna start on this heart right here. I have to make my big giant star so it can go across the sky like a shooting star. I'm gonna make my star. My arms are out to the side, my feet are nice and wide, my head is lifted tall. And I'm going to take my four chasses to the other heart. I'll go one and a two and a three and a four. And I'll sway side and side. And then I'll go all the way back. So point that toe the direction that you're going. One and a two and a three and a four. Sway side and side. I'm going to try this four times with my music. So four is half of our magic dance number eight. 
sometimes we use those fours also. All right, my friends, make your star nice and big. And we'll get ready to chasse. Point that toe where you're going. Chasse. Two, three, four. And sway in the sky. Sway in the sky. Keeping those toes on the floor when I sway. Point your toe where you're going. And chasse. Two, three, four. And sway in the sky. Keep that toe on the floor. Sway in the sky. I'll point my toe where I'm going. This is our third set. One, and two, and three, and four. Sway in the sky, keeping that toe connected to the floor. And point back where I'm headed the other direction. One, and a two, and a three, and a four. And sway in the sky, sway in the sky. That was beautiful, friends. We're gonna move on, go across the floor doing something else. Okay, dancers, we are going to take two more moves across the floor. Our first move we're going to take across the floor are our retire walks. Now, our retire, we have that retire in our dance where I pull my toe all the way up to my knee and bend that knee out in front. We have to practice doing it all the way across the floor. So, I'm going to find the widest part of my space and go back and forth between those two spaces. So I want to point my toe first. I have to point that toe where I'm headed, just like in my chasses. I'll keep my hands on my hips and my spine nice and tall, nice and long. Good posture. I'll point that toe where I'm going. Step on that foot and retire the other. Point, point, point your toe. Now I'll take that toe, step on it, or point it out in front of you so I can step on it, and rest your right, up at your knee, point your toe. And I'll keep doing that all the way across my space. I'm going to do it four times across my space. And we'll take our rest your right. ready? Point your toe, and we'll step on it. Rest your right, high, high, high. And step, retire, high, high, high. Point and step, retire. Point and step, retire. And last one, point and step, retire. We're gonna try it again and we're gonna go back the other way. We're gonna do this three more times. Ready? And I'll point my toe out in front where I'm going. Point that toe, step on it, retire. Point your toe, step on it, retire. Point your toe, step on it, rest your right. Point your toe, rest your right. Point your toe, rest your right. Point your toe, rest your right. Two more times now. Point your toe, step on it, rest your right. Point your toe, step on it, rest your right. Point your toe, step on it, rest your right. Point your toe, step on it, rest your right. Keep lifting through your spine, so tall, so we can balance. Point your toe, rest to your right. And point your toe, rest to your right. I'm gonna come back the other direction. This is my last time. Point that toe, step on it, rest to your right. Point, and 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 rest to your right. Very good dancers. We are gonna take one more move across the floor, but first we're gonna practice sitting in the center with it. My next move that I'm going to do is my batma. Now we've done these batmas a couple of times, but we are gonna practice them sitting down before we take them across the floor. So I'm gonna sit with my legs out in front, just like my mermaid tails, and my hands on my hips from here. I'm going to lift my legs nice and straight so I don't want, I'm going to split my mermaid tail in half so each leg is moving by itself, but I don't want my knees to bend or my feet to flex. I want to stay super pointed. And I also don't want to hunch my shoulders over and arch my back. I want to stay up nice and tall. So we're going to take our hands from our hips and set them on the floor beside us. This will help us stay nice and tall. And I'm gonna brush 
my leg all the way up, super straight as can be. Brush and bring it back down. And try the other side. Brush and bring it back down. Keep those toes pointed and those knees straight. Brush and bring it back down. And brush and bring it back down. Let's try eight, our magic dance number. We'll try eight, switching each time. Right leg, then left leg. And we'll go. One, and two, and three, and four. Four more. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. Just like that. Let's stand up so we can take it across the floor. When we take it across the floor, we are going to make one change instead of having our hands on our hips. We are going to stretch them out to the side like airplane wings and keep those arms super strong. I'm going to take those arms so strong out to the side, still lifting my belly button and my spine so I'm nice and tall and strong and straight. I'm going to take that pointed toe so I can step on that foot. Point your toe where you're going. Step on it and brush the other leg up, up, up. Keep your knees straight and your toe pointed. Now point that toe out in front so I can step on it. Step on it, brush and point. Step on it, brush and point. Step on it, brush and point. And this is my last one I can fit in my space. Brush and point. I'm gonna take it back three more times. Point your toe, step on it, brush. And keep that knee straight, keep that toe pointed, brush. Point your toe where you're going, brush. Point your toe where you're going every time, and brush. Two more times across the space. Time to your foot to step on it, and brush, bad ma. Brush, bad ma. Brush, bad ma. Brush, bad ma. And brush, bad ma. Last time across the space. I'll point my toe to get ready to go. Point, brush, and step on it. Brush, and step on it. Brush, bat ma. Step on it. Brush, bat ma. And step on it. Good job, dancers. We are going to get ready to come to the center of our space and practice our plies and our tendus in our first, second, and parallel positions. All right, dancers, we are practicing those plies and tendus. I'm gonna take my feet in my, in my, the first position that I'm going to do, which is actually my parallel position. So not my first position, but my parallel. So my feet have to look like two french fries right next to each other. And those french fries aren't gonna run into each other at my toes or at my heels. I'm gonna have them go in the same direction, front to back, toes pointing forward. My hands are on my hips and I'm standing up nice and tall. In my parallel position, I'm going to do four plies. So I'm gonna go bend my knees, keep your knees over your toes, and stretch those knees again. I'm gonna do it again a second time and stretch those knees. I'm gonna do it a third time, stretch those knees, and I'm gonna do it a fourth time and stretch those knees. After I've done it in my parallel position, I'm gonna open up my feet to my first position. So make your pizza slice. And I think today I have mushrooms and olives on my pizza. So uh, decide what's on your pizza slice, but make your first position. And I'm gonna do my four plies in first position as well. So when I make those first position plies, my legs should be making my diamond shape, just like that. And I'm gonna hold my arms in my first position as well while practicing putting those feet and arm positions together. Then I'm gonna slide my foot out, tendu, into my second position. So it shouldn't be too wide, because then I'll slip and fall onto my booty. And I don't want it to be too small because then it almost looks like my first position. So I gotta keep it just underneath my hips. My second position, I'm gonna do four plies in second position. And when I'm in second position, those plies, my legs make the shape of a house 
or I like to think about it like a cupcake sometimes too. Here's the bottom of my cupcake and here's the frosting. So make your cupcake shape and stretch behind those knees as you straighten. We'll do it four times in second as well. And what are my second position arms? Open, open with a little curve. So I'll do my parallel with my hands on my hips, my first position with my first position arms, my basket. We can even decide what we want to put in our basket today. I think I'm going to put some flower petals in my basket. And then my second position, and I'll do four plies in all of those positions. Are you ready? Let's start in our parallel. Ready? And we'll go. Plie and straight. Plie and straight. Plie and straight. And plie and straight. First position. Plie and straight. Plie and straight. Plie and straight. Plie and straight. Into second. Plie and straight. Make that cupcake. And straight, plie, and straight, and plie, and straight. That was beautiful, dancers. We're going to try it one more time. So let's come back to our parallel position with our hands on our hips. And we'll do it one more time. You ready? Plie, and straight. Plie, and straight. Plie, and straight. And this is our fourth one. Plie, and straight. First position, plie and straight, plie and straight, plie and straight, and this is number four, ready to go to second, plie and straight, plie and straight, make your cupcake, plie and straight, and plie and straight, let's point that toe to bring it back to our parallel. Okay, dancers, give yourself a little shake out before we get going for our tendus. We'll shake all those plies out of our body. We're going to get ready to do our tendus, and we're going to do our tendus in only two positions. Only our parallel and our first position. So, we're going to go parallel feet with our hands on our hips, and we're going to tendu. So, I slide, slide, slide that toe out in front of me until it points. I'm going to back up a little bit and turn to the side so you can really see. I slide, 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 slide. Don't lift your toe off the floor, but slide that foot forward until you have to point it to keep it on the floor. And then I'll slide it all the way back, toes attached, then the middle of my foot, and then my heel. So going from my parallel, I'll do this leg first. I go. Tondu out to the front. I'll bring it back in. I'm going to do it again a second time and bring it back in. I'm going to do it a third time. And on number three, I'm going to flex, just like in our mermaid warm up, and point that toe back into my tondu and slide my foot back into place. Now I'm going to try it on the other side. So I go tondu front and a close and front. And a close. And on my third one, I go out. And a flex. And a point. And close. Now I'm going to open it into my first position. And I'm going to take my tendu following the line of my first position feet. So I'm not going straight to the side. I'm going on like a diagonal line. Following my first position. If this is my first position line, that's exactly the line that my first position should follow, my tendu in first position. So I go tendu and a close, tendu and a close. And on my third one, what happens? My flex and a point and a close. And that's a little tricky because we have to balance for a moment. So if I think about standing so tall over top of my standing foot, it should help me balance. Now I'm going to try it on the left side. So I go one and a two. And a three, flex, point, and close. We are going to try the whole thing with some music. So find your parallel feet and our hands on our hips. We're not taking our hands into part, our arms into first position for our first position tendus. 
having our hands on our hips is going to help us balance a little bit better when we stand on one foot. Parallel feet. We'll tendu to the front. Tendu and close. Tendu and close. Tendu and flex and point and close. Left foot. Tendu and close. Tendu and close. Tendu and flex and point and close. I'm going to take it to, into my first position to the side and close. Point and close. Point and flex and point and close. Other foot. Follow that diagonal. Point and close. Point, tendu, close. Point, tendu, and flex. Stand right on top of that standing foot. Point and close. Stand nice and tall to finish. Okay, dancers, we are going to do one last exercise here in the center of the room. We are going to take our parallel feet. This is the last time we're going to have our parallel feet for now. And we have our saute jumps. So we've been doing them with our hands on our shoulders. But we are going to switch and we're going to take them to our hips instead. A lot of hands on our hips today. So when I do my saute jump, I have to plie first and then point, point, point those toes as you push off the floor. Point and jump. Saute. We are going to do it eight times, that magic dance number. Eight sautés in our parallel. After I do my eight sautés in parallel, we are going to do a different kind of sauté, a different kind of jump. And this is the one that's in our recital dance, our échappé, my open and a close. So after I take my eight jumps right in place, point those toes and land right underneath yourself, I'm going to open and close with my arms from second to first position, second to first position, and my legs. Open second, close it, parallel. Open second, close it, parallel. And I'm doing it in my parallel, so even my second has my toes still pointing forward. But we're jumping open and a close, and open and a close. And we're going to do that eight times as well. So I go open, close, open, close. Grand total of eight times. Eight sautés in place, eight échappé sautés. Those jumps. You ready? Parallel feet with your hands on your hips. Ready? Seven and eight. We go. Plié, sauté. Plié, sauté. Plié, sauté. Plié, sauté. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. We're going to do our Asia pace. We'll go open and close. Open and close. Open and close, and open, and close. Four more Asia pace. Open, and close, open, and close, open, and close. Last one. Open, and close, and finish. Nice and tall. Hands on your hips. Parallel feet. Okay, dancers, we are going to practice our recital dance. Now, last time in our, in our week one class, Miss Alicia recorded our recital dance facing you dancers. However, I think it will be more helpful for you if I do it backwards. So I'm going to come from this side when I enter, and I'm going to pretend that this is my front. And that way you can follow me just like we would in the classroom, where I face the mirror and you face the mirror, so you see my back. And that will help us make sure that we're doing the correct sides for everything. Okay, dancers, when we start, we're off to the side. We're in our lines. We have our smiles on our lips and our hands on our hips. And we're ready to listen for Miss Alicia to count that magic dance number, number eight. We take our time, skip, skip, skipping to our spots and have two circles of our skips around our spot before we start.
Hands on hips, smiles on lips. Five, six, seven, eight. And we skip to our spots. Take your time to get there. And take your time for two skip circles around that dot to face the front. Follow Miss Alicia. Tap, 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 tap. Fret to your ray, fret to your ray. Tap, 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 tap. Fret to your ray, fret to your ray. Tondu, please. Tondu, close. Point to your point. Close. Scoop and arabesque. And we'll right hands on hips, right around yourself. And make your positions first, and up, and open, and back on your hips to switch with your partner for your skip. And switch to your new dot. Here you go. Plie, plie, and up, and down. Open, close, open, close, and paint the walls. Paint the walls. Plie, plie, and up, and down. Open and close, open and close. Paint the walls, paint the walls. Tondu, plie, tondu, close. Tondu, plie, tondu, close. Scoop and arabesque. Right around your spot. Make your positions with your arms first. And up, and open, and back to your hips. We take one, two, three, four chassés. Sway, and sway, and chassé back. Two, three, four. Sway, and sway. Good job, dancers. We are going to learn a little bit more of that next time in our next video. All right, dancers, it's time for us to switch into our tap shoes. And if you need something to put on the floor to practice those tap moves, your cardboard or your wood, make sure that you have it there ready to go. We're going to start our warm up. All right, dancers, ready to tap those toes right in front of you. Taking just that toe tap, no heels allowed yet. Ready, six, seven, eight. Take our toe heels going 
across our space. Now, because I'm trying to tap mostly on my cardboard here, I have a very small space to go on. So I'm going to start at the top of my cardboard and do my, or sorry, I said toe heels, I mean heel toes. I'm going to take my heel toe, heel toe, heel toe across the top of my cardboard. And then I'm going to come back across the middle. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. And then I'm going to go across the front of my cardboard. Heel toe, heel toe. Heel toe. Now, when I do my heel toes, how many sounds should I hear? Two. I should hear two sounds my heel and my toe. So, do you think it would be a very good heel toe if it sounds like this? Or like this? No, you can't really tell that those are two sounds. So, I have to hear my heel first. Heel. And I have to hear my toe, toe. Hear both those sounds, heel and toe, so that you know you can do the next one, heel and toe. Really, really hear both sounds every single time. We are going to try it with some music. All right, I'm going to go across the top of my space for tapping. If you have a floor that you can tap on, a whole floor, that is a-okay. You can just use as much of that floor as you need. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. And we'll take it across the middle. We'll bring it all the way back. Ready? Seven, eight. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. And we'll bring it across the front of our space. Six, seven, eight. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. I'm going to try it one more time. Ready? Six, seven, eight. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. I'm going to go across the middle of my space. Six, seven, eight. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Toe, heel Toe. And across the front. Six, seven, eight. Heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Good job taking those heel toes. We are going to take our crossing heel toe next. So I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it facing you and facing away so you can really see what I'm doing. We are going to go with our crisscrossing heel toes. I have to, oh, this time it's my toe heel. So I have to go toe, then heel, and then cross that foot in front or behind. In front. I want to see that foot. It wants to be in front. It wants to have most of the attention. So I'm going to cross that foot in front and go toe, heel, across in front. Now I pick that foot out from behind me. It says, hey, you can't be in front. Toe, heel, and I'll cross again. Toe, heel. And I'm going to do one more to uncross myself, even though I'm out of my space. But I'll go toe, heel, last time. Now I'm going to take it all the way back. So I go toe, heel, open, and that foot wants to go in front or behind. That's right, in front. Toe, heel, uncross. Toe, heel, and cross. Toe, heel, uncross. Toe, heel. I'm going to flip around so you can see me doing it backwards, too. I'm going to go open. Toe, heel, cross. Toe, heel, open. Toe, heel, cross. Toe, heel, open. Toe, heel. I'm going to take it all the way back. Open toe, heel, cross. Toe, heel. Open toe, heel, cross. Toe, heel. Open toe, heel. We are going to try it also with some music as well. All right. We are going to take it facing you first. So you do it facing me every time. But I'm going to try it once down and back facing you and once facing away. And you do it facing me every time. Ready? 
We'll go five, six, seven, eight. Toe, heel, cross. Toe, heel, cross. Toe, heel. And let's try it the other direction. Ready? Seven, eight. Toe, heel, cross. Toe, heel. Toe, heel, cross. Toe, heel. Toe, heel. And now I'm going to, you keep facing me. I'm going to turn around so that you can see me from the back. We'll go five, six, seven, eight. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Toe, heel. And we'll take it going the other direction. Ready? Seven, eight. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Toe, heel. Very, very good dancers. All right, we are going to practice another move that is in our recital dance. We are going to practice those shuffle stomps. So I am taking my foot knee to knee, picking up that foot and gluing those knees together. I'm going to kick that balloon forward with my toe and my heel or just my toe. That's right, just my toe. I go toe to the ground and brush it forward to kick that balloon. And then I'm going to brush it back, kick that balloon behind you, brush, just like that. So I'm going to do mine on an angle, but you can face me. And this way you can really see what my feet are doing. I'm going to pick up that foot, go knee to knee, and go brush forward and kick it back. And forward, kick it back. Forward, kick it back. Now that's my regular shuffle, but we in our dance have our shuffle stomp. So I have to take that foot and I go shuffle, and now I have to put that foot down to switch feet, stomp. I'm gonna take my other foot, pick it up, kick your balloon forward with just your toe, no heels allowed. Shuffle, stomp, and I have to switch again. Shuffle, stomp, and a shuffle, Full stomp, just those toes, no heels allowed. We are going to practice it with music, and we are going to do it eight times, our magic dance number, eight times. All right, dancers, ready for those shuffle stomps? You can face me, but I'm going to go this way so you can see those feet. Ready? We'll go shuffle, stomp. Two, three, and four. Four more to make eight. Five. Eight more. I'm going to turn this way so you can see my left foot this time. Ready? We'll go five, six, seven, eight. We'll go shuffle, stomp. Two, three, four, five. Just those toes, no heels along. Six, seven, and eight. Good job. All right, dancers, we are going to take our flap heels across the floor, just like we did with our heel toes, because we also have those in our recital dance, so we have to keep practicing. Flap heel, kick that balloon, and pop it, then put that heel down. So no heels allowed until I have to step on it. And then kick that balloon, pop it, and step on that heel. Kick, pop, step. We're gonna do it, like I said, just like our heel toes. So I'm going to go across the top of my space, the middle of my space, the bottom of my space, if I'm using something small to tap on like this. If, you only, if you're only tapping across the floor in your living room or somewhere in your house and you have a big space, you don't have to tap on one small surface like this. You can just go straight across the floor. Okay, friends, ready to go across the top of your space if that's what you're doing. Taking our full up heels. Ready, six, seven, full up heel. Fall up, heel. Fall up, heel. Fall up, heel. I'm going to go across the middle of my space. Six, seven, eight. Fall up, heel. 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 I'm going to go the other direction. All the way across the front of my space. Ready and fall up, heel. 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 Okay, 
stage dancers, before we move on to practicing our recital dance for tap, we are going to do one more thing here in the center. We are going to put a few of our moves together in a combination. So we are going to combine a few of those moves together and practice them all together. Now I'm going to start with my toe heel cross. I'm going to do three of those toe heel crosses. So I'm going to take my foot open, open first. That's one. Open and two is crossing in front. Cross, toe, heel. And now my third one, I open up again. That's three, toe, heel. And I'm going to step together. Then I'm going to take two shuffle stomps. So I'll go shuffle, stomp, and a shuffle, stomp. Now the foot that I started my shuffle stomp with was the same foot that started my toe heel cross. Because now I can take it back the other way. And so I'm going to start with the other foot. I'll go toe, heel, cross, toe, heel, toe, heel. That's three. And step together. Now the same foot that started my open step for my toe heel is going to pick up first to do my shuffle stomp. Shuffle, stomp, and a shuffle, stomp. We're going to try it with music. I'm going to practice it facing you. And then again, I'm going to practice it facing away from you so that you can see it from two different angles. Just like if you were watching Miss Alicia in the mirror, but also looking at her back. So you get two different ways to look at it. Okay, friends, I'm facing you first. And we're going to go this way. I'm going to practice, ready? Five, six, seven, eight, toe, heel, and two, toe, heel, and three, toe, heel, stomp together, and pick up your foot to shuffle, stomp, shuffle, stomp, good, we're going to come back the other way, ready, six, seven, eight, toe, and heel, toe, and heel, toe, and heel, and step together, shuffle, stomp, shuffle, stomp, very, very good. We are going to try it facing the other way, or you, you will still face the same way, and I'm going to face away from you. Ready? Six, seven, eight. Toe and heel. Two and heel. Three. Toe, heel. Step together and shuffle, stomp. Shuffle, stomp. Shuffle, stomp. We're going to go back the other way. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. dancers, we are going to move on to doing our recital dance. Okay, dancers, we are going to practice that tap recital dance. Now, Miss Alicia, just like when we practiced our ballet dance for the recital, we are, Miss Alicia is going to face the back. So our first set of bounces, right, when I start with my hands on my knees and I bounce, 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 Miss Alicia is going to face the back so you won't be able to see my hands but know that they're on my knees so that I can do those bounces. Then I'm going to take my heel toe walks in a circle all the way around me with my hands on my hips. Then I have my heel rocks to the side. So hands are on my hips still. I go heel, step, step, heel, step, step, four times. Then I have my four shuffle stomps. Shuffle, stomp, two, and a three, and a four. After that, I show off my vagabond shoes. I go heel, and a flip to my toe. Heel, and step together. Heel, flip to your toe. Heel, and step together. And four more shuffle stomps. Shuffle, stomp, shuffle, stomp, shuffle, stomp, and a shuffle, stomp. Now, we do our four flap heels forward. So I have to go ba lap heel, ba lap heel, three times, and a fourth time. I do my three X's on my heels. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, three times, 
and then my sparkly hands go to the sky. And I scooch it down, 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 down. Scooch it back, 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 back. Now what we're adding on are those cross steps that we practiced last week. I take this foot and cross over. I go cross. And then this foot behind me says, hey, you don't get to be in front. And taps out to the side. And then it says, I get to be in front. And cross in front. And now this foot is saying, hey, you don't get to be in front. I get to be in front. So I tap side and then cross front. Side and cross front. We're going to do that a total of eight times. And that's what we're adding on today. Are you ready to do it? Let's get ready with our feet together. Our hands are on our knees. And we're facing Miss Alicia ready to follow along. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Heel toe walks. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. And together, let's go rock, rock, step, step. Rock, step, step. Rock, step, step. Rock, step, step. Four shuffle stomps. shoes. Flip and a heel together. Heel and a flip to your toe. Heel together. Four shuffle stomps. Good job, dancers. That's all we're doing for today. We are going to see each other next week. I'm going to put another video up for next week, and we're going to keep practicing both our dances and all of our across the floor and center moves. Thank you so much, dancers. I'll see you later.